some people like collecting autographs, others like to have their pictures taken with celebrities. That's an idea. But here's a man who's sort of turned that on its head. He likes to get the celebrities to take a picture of him. His name's Lee, Lee Allen. His project is called Shooting Lee, and he joins me now. He's looking resplendent in his pink T-shirt as well, Lee. Hello. Hi, morning. What's your idea then, Lee? It's, uh, it's peculiar. It is. Um, it's called Shooting Lee, photographed by the famous. OK. Um, and basically, when I meet famous people, I ask them to take a photograph of me. OK. Is somebody taking a photograph of them taking a photograph <coughs> of you? <laughs> no, not at all, no. So um, how do we know it's been taken by the celebrity, then? Um, when, I, when I thought the idea through, that was obviously... That came up, and um, I carry with me an instant camera. Okay. So when the picture's taken, it automatically prints the photo, um, and then I can have the photographer sign it, oh. um, and that then proves it was them and, and not my neighbour or my mother or someone like that that took the photo. How did you dream this one up, Lee? Long, complicated story. Uh, I was on holiday in Sri Lanka uh, about 2002 and a couple of girls came up to me holding out a camera. Um, I assumed they wanted me to take the camera and take their photograph, um, but actually they wanted permission to take my photograph. Oh. Um, there's a long and complicated story okay. as to why, um, but to them I, I appeared odd um, because of the way I was dressed. Okay. <laughs> um, and it got me to thinking that... Um, if you're famous and someone comes up with a camera, you probably have the opposite reaction to me. Uh, and I thought, maybe it's worth testing. Yeah. I'll, I'll try it out. And so how's it gone down? It, it varies. Most people, I think, are, are genuinely uh, gracious uh, and positive. Some people more positive than others. Um, reactions do vary. Yes. Um, and over the years, I, I, I guess I've probably changed my, my pitch uh, slightly to, to get a more positive reaction. What's your pitch? Um, Give me your pitch. Say well, to, to begin with, I'd say, oh, hi, you're such and such. Yeah. Um, can I get a photograph? Yes. And then wait for them to stiffen and sort of straighten their jacket. Uh, and as they do that, hand them the camera. <laughs> uh, and, and obviously that would then cause some hilarity and confusion and, and, and in some way probably... Uh, deflate uh, and affront their ego. So, so now I've sort of, you know, uh, I do a, for, a more formal explanation of what it is and the reason for it, uh, and then the result is better. Who have um, you had your photograph taken by so far? You're after a hundred celebs to take your picture. Yeah, when, when I started off, a hundred was my goal. I don't think I'll stop at a hundred. I think oh. I'll keep on going oh, now. Because you're enjoying um, it so much. Yeah, it's, it's good fun. Um, I'm up to uh, 67, 68 photographs so far. Taken um, by who? Lots of different people. Most recently, uh, Ken Livingstone, the, the ex-mayor of London. Um, and then before that, Louis Spence, uh, the Pineapple Dance Studio uh, chap. Uh, Jonathan Ross was the was before that. Um, Matthew Horn from Gavin and Stacey. Yeah. Um, so they're, they're, they're the more recent ones. Where'd you um, get them? Where'd you find them? Two places, really. Um, organically, I carry the camera with me as much as I can at all times. Um, I walk around with my eyes open. Um, I've got a, a sort of ability to spot faces, I Have think. I, I do tend to recognise people. You know, some people exist in the bubble. Um, so that would be the first way. Um, and then sometimes I do go out of my way um, to go to places where famous people might be, book signings, conventions, that sort of thing. Has anybody said no? Yes, yes, definitely. Who? Uh, probably the most famous person to say no was George Best, oh. um, the footballer. Yeah, what? Um, <laughs> I was going to say he had a few, but yeah. He, he had had a few, yeah. yeah. He was, not only did he say no, but he was uh, fairly abusive was he? about oh, it. Yeah. Oh, so, so that's a not, that's a not such a nice um, memory. <laughs> good fun, Come good on. fun. Uh, um, any more knowers? Tony Curtis, the, the Hollywood actor, said no. uh, he said no because uh, on the grounds of being too old and too frail and he didn't understand newfangled things. Oh, okay. So you have to sort of be respectful for, for that. Um, Tony Adams, the ex-England yeah, and oh. Arsenal, the footballer. Yeah, not the actor. Um, he, he said no on the grounds that he wasn't famous, um, oh, okay. which is interesting. He was the first person I ever asked. Oh, dear, that's a bad um, start. It was mission. a bad start, yeah, but mentally I, I kind of think that maybe he might be the hundredth person. I might bump into him again and, 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 and get a different result, yeah. It'd be a nice way to finish. And so if, if, we go on to, if you go on to Lee's website, you'll um, see the pictures of him, click on them and then you'll reveal who, who it is and you'll yes. see their signatures as well. Uh, your favourite uh, encounter so far doing this? Um, I think my absolute favourite is Lou Ferrigno, who played the Incredible Hulk oh, yeah. in the 70s, 80s TV show. 
Um, and the reason for that is he's a huge man and he has gigantic hands. He's got really big fingers like uh, whiteboard markers. And he was having a little bit of trouble um, letting the camera go off because his fingers were so big. And he, he stopped, he looked at the camera and he pulled an expression which was part confusion and part anger. Um, but 100% Hulk face. Yeah. Uh, and in that instant, I was I was nine years old again. You know, yeah. for for a second, it was it was amazing, and I just loved it for that for that moment. You know. Who's on the hit list next? Oh, you know, so many people. Yeah. I guess um, it'd be really nice to have a a current um, A list Hollywood actor. You or know, a Middleton, a, a George Clooney, or a Middleton. Um, but from childhood um, sort of heroes, uh, David Bowie, Morrissey, Adam Mann, th oh, these yeah. are the kind of guys. I think maybe I might be too awestruck to ask in, in those circumstances. And you're keeping um, the pictures, of course. Yes, of course. OK, yeah. what will yeah. you do with them in the end? Do you know yet? No, I don't have, I don't have an end game. Okay. Um, I, I set off on a journey, and the journey, I think, will probably continue for the rest of my natural. Is it fun? Um, it is fun, yeah, definitely. It's, it's, it's nerve-wracking on occasion because yeah. you sometimes have to steel yourself up a bit for it. Yes. A uh, good example of that recently was John from Ross and I had to sort of fight my way through a rugby scrum of people and I had to sort of sidestep a security guard and, and stuff like that. So it, it takes a bit of commitment, mm. um, but it is fun. I was, I wouldn't do it. Uh, www.shootingly.co.uk. That's it. Yep. That'll get you onto the website. You can see what we've been talking about and good luck in your mission. Lee. Thank you. Thank good you. meeting you.